All righty. Let's get the show started. Uh, which button is it? Is it this one? That's it. That's it. All right. So we will start the show in three, two, one, go. Why does nothing play? That's not good. Oh, um, I didn't. I, I clicked off the soundboard. Uh, that would be smart. Take two. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, and one. Try action. it again. There is nothing wrong with your music player. Everything you hear is being carried out as we intend. We control the treble and the bass. The imaginative processes between your ears are now under our influence. Do not attempt to adjust this podcast. You're listening to Relative Dimensions. Hello out there, everyone, and welcome to episode number 35 of Relative Dimensions. Uh, my name's Chris Renshaw. I'm one of your hosts. That's my other co-host. It's Philip. And hey, I realized I pointed right? and then switched the camera so no one actually saw me No one knew point. what was going on. It happens. So, normally, Phillip, normally, okay, let's, let's call, <laughs> time out, <laughs> er, time out. Time, 30 seconds. So... When we originally started this show, it was just a geek talk show where we could talk about whatever was going on in our that we felt like that was geeky that we felt like talking about. Mm-hmm. Then we found out we were talking mainly about video games, and so okay, we'll make the show video game focused. Now, like a year later, it's been about a year since we did that. Yeah, and I'm not playing as much video games. You have you've been kind of dabbling in stuff. Yeah. But I, I found like my passions are once again kind of like going else places. Or mm-hmm. and I just don't have the time to play video games. That one too. So that made the show And they cost seventy dollars a piece. There's that. Uh which made the show <laughs> seem for kind of forced where we're just talking about random news. So uh unlike contrary to any what any good podcasting mentor person would say we're changing the format again. We're going back to whatever we want to talk about. We're completely switching it up. Yeah, it's just like my original thought, which is basically just like your Sunday night geek talk show, except for I'll come up with the new catchphrase for it. We'll figure one out. Yeah, because we're not doing it live anymore, so it's kind of hard to do that. If anybody wants to come up with one, no, there won't that's be my, a prize That's on involved. me. That is on me. Okay. So, this is Relative Dimensions. I'm Chris. That's Philip. We're in the we're broadcasting from the Batcave. From the Batcave. And Philip's got someone watching him. I got she's she's kinda hot. <laughs> I take her to prom. Oh, I think she's got a booger in her nose. She she's got a little little, little something there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd take her to prom. Oh gosh. My mother in law works next to a GameStop and every time they get rid of those displays and stuff, she's like, My son in law's a gamer? I'll put it in the car, give it to him, which is awesome. I mean, yeah. I end up with some great stuff. Like, that's where that Diablo poster behind the StarCraft thing is. You get the StarCraft poster. I think I got a StarCraft 2 poster down here. Uh, I got a bunch of other stuff. So when GameStop throws stuff away, I get it. Sweet. <laughs> yes. So, But right now, I have no place to put it, so it's behind Philip. It happens. Yes. It's all up in my area. I'm going to punch her. So what's been going on? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot in the gaming world. Uh, but what outside the gaming world? Outside, Although I do have to say you outside. said... Well, it, maybe. It's so cold outside. You did say that you were not playing Star Trek as much, and I was just like... I have... I know. What? He almost passed out. There was the ambulance. I was caught. just like... Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. We sent the whoa, ambulance away, whoa. though. It was all right. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just the grind. It's, eh, the grind. You yeah, got yeah, through yeah, all yeah. the new stuff, and now you're just on the old stuff. Mm-hmm. And I waited too long, so the uh, they're not doing the featured rerun anymore, so Aww. I don't get the special prize. Oh well. Did you get the? Did you ever save enough to get the lifetime membership? Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Still haven't done that. Uh, is that still good? Uh, nope. That ended on the same day. <laughs> 
Yeah, that all ended on the same day. Well, at least you're what, like two hundred dollars still not, or you don't have that. That's not in the pocket. In the yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. That I know what you're trying to say. That <laughs> we get it. Yeah, but just I know you, that. you know you, and I know that you know that I know you. That's right. Which is scary. <laughs> so what have you been what doing in I the meantime? Right uh, I've been playing some Sins. Oh, that That's, game. Yeah, it's it's one of those games where. I've I've progressed far enough in one of the because I like to play. You're the doing giant campaign, maps. right? I, well, it's all it is is a campaign map. Or it's, oh, it's, I thought there was multiplayer stuff too. There is multiplayer, but I don't really know people who have the game. It it can't do like Halo matchmaking or anything. Right, like that. but that's it what I'm do. saying is you're playing the campaign portion right now. Yeah, um, it's just like single player instances. I like the giant map where it's like five solar systems, almost two hundred planets. So, break it down for someone who's never heard of this game. What is it? Sins of a Solar Empire. Sins of a Solar Empire. Uh, you go around, and there's there's no story mode. That's what I was saying. There's no story mode whatsoever. Oh, okay. Um, your story is survive. Gotcha. Kill everybody else. Boom. That's your story. That's your mission. That's actually a very common story. That is a very common story. In, everywhere. Even in, like, little, like, gardening stuff. It's like, ah, oh, kill everything. Grow the plants. <laughs> My Little Pony. <laughs> the massacre. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, parodies! Parodies! That'd be sweet. Can we make that game? Mm-hmm. All right, whatever. I digress. <laughs> uh, you you start off in uh, you own a planet. You can start off with a couple ships, and you have to go and you have to colonize the galaxy. Depending on which map you lose, uh, you could have anywhere from one other faction out there or nine other factions out there uh you can do diplomacy you can work together with some of them it's really cool to get a peace treaty with one faction and then take get a peace treaty with another faction and then pit them against each other (laughs) offer them missions how does that work you you offer them a mission you're like hey i need you to go destroy their ships i need you to go destroy their ships and they go and they fight each other (laughs) Oh, you're such a... Yeah. You're going to be a politician one and day. And you're just over here on your world, and you're like, I'm just over here, you know, reading my comic book. I don't know what you guys are doing. <laughs> Whatever. I'm mining. Got my little pickaxe. But that, that seems like it would get kind of repetitive and old after a while. It does, which is why um, I've gotten to the point in Sins where uh, I already own one solar system, so now I'm kind of branching off, and... It takes my fleet a while to gather itself up and then like jump to another planet and jump mm-hmm. around. So I'll go and I'll set them to move and like yeah, go attack this planet and then I'll go away. I'll go make lunch. Nice. <laughs> I'll go watch TV. I'll come back. They're still not there yet. <laughs> Reminds me of Eve. Yes. Did you ever you tried Eve, I right? I tried you and I tried Eve together. Right, right. And it Your was, only problem was you couldn't control your ship. No direct control of right. the ship. But other than that, you other than that, the game was cool. I mean yeah. a lot of a lot of like the graph graphics, that's right. The graphics were nice. All the like scenery and vistas looked cool. Yeah. The missions. I liked that you could it was like Star Trek with the duty officers. Oh yeah, do all these missions. Now I'm gonna go to sleep. Log back in tomorrow morning. Hey, I did all this stuff. It's great. Yeah. The skills. Yes. But yeah, other than that, it's like, oh yeah, I need to, I need to right click on my target, but he's zipping by so freaking fast, I can barely catch him. Although I heard there was a it. trick to do that, like you could, there's like if you held down a key, you could click to move, like there was a, a way you could move around. But yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it, the whole mechanic was just one giant Charlie Foxtrot for you, for me. Some people like it. Some people love Eve, and they're like they've been paying for Eve since vanilla. What like? 11 years ago. Eve came out before WoW. E? Oh, WoW. Re- yeah. Pretty sure. <laughs> wow. Gotta love WoW. Internets. Ye oldie interwebs. Internets. This is where we find everything, okay? Because everything on the internet is true. Yeah. Where'd you find that out? Huh? What's that on the internet? <laughs> Duh. You so. may not know this, but I'm a French model. <laughs> The internet told you that? That's right. Uh, it released in May 6, 2003. All right. WoW came out in 2004. Like June of 2004? No, no, like November 2004. All right, we're going to leave that up. In Practically case. 2005. Yeah. 
If it was a car, it was already 2005. <laughs> it's the 2005 model. Which, I really, I don't understand that at all. Back in, like, March. Ooh, 2014 models. What are you talking about? Well, okay, answer me this. Why do football games like Marvel, or, like, not Marvel, Madden, Madden. why is it Madden, like, 2013, when the season is mostly played in 2012? The Super Bowl is like the only game not played in 2013 or 2012. Yeah. Answer me that. Can you deal with that? Depends on when they release the game. But they release it in 2012. They do. Okay. I was going to say, if they release it. Like, they're probably about to release a new Madden game. They usually do it in, like, what, like August? Something like that, yeah. And it'll be Madden 2014. I was going to say, if they release it after the Super Bowl. Then no more games are being played. They already have everyone's stats, and they can plug them into whatever program. No, they is. only they do all the pre games, the preseason stats. Oh, okay. So, Roy, Roy, Roy. You mentioned comic books. I did mention comic books. One of the things that's happened to us recently, we had a new comic book store open. Comic book store. So how was that? That was pretty awesome. We both we uh we met there, and it was just a new branch of a store that we had already been to. Um. So. That was they still didn't have Redline Annual. Oh, they didn't? I freaking understand how they don't have that. How do you not have that? Because they sold out and the DC hasn't probably reprinted it. So it's not completely their fault, probably. It's not completely their fault. Why fault. did you get it when you had... when you? Uh, why didn't I get it like the day it came out? Yeah. Because it was a Wednesday? <laughs> you could always go on Comixology. <laughs> you, Sorry. you step away the little yeah. mic to breathe. Had to had to step away. Yeah. Chocolate rain. <laughs> <laughs> I actually remember that. <laughs> Do you remember the cherry chocolate rain? No. Dr. Pepper, when they were having like cherry chocolate, Dr. Pepper hired him to do a cherry chocolate rain version. Oh. It's hilariously funny because it's so dumb. Anyways. <laughs> Part of me wants. Oh God! I know it's like so, no, we got to find it. No, we got to find it on so, YouTube. So, anyways, we, while I'm looking that up, this is what happens, guys. We had a new. <laughs> this is what happens when we don't have a topic. This is so bad. We have a topic. Nerdy People crap. are gonna write us and be like, "Stop doing this. Stop ad living." So, new comic book store. That was pretty awesome. Bring a girl on one time. <laughs> oh gosh! Actually, can we do that? Like who? I don't know. Ashley won't. We can get Chloe. We we can bring Chloe. Like we know people. Yeah. So that I I really like the fact that we have a comic book store like ju- a good one just down the road now. Yes. And it's probably gonna bring back Comic Book Wednesdays. Which I uh, on Wednesday I was like, hey, Chris was talking about. Co-. No, I didn't get a text. He's not doing it today. Now we're out. Well, I was out of town. You were out of town. That's right. So, visiting the parents. That's right. The. The old, the old life givers. Yeah. Because it was vacation. I took vacation because it was my birthday. That was the other thing that happened over the past week. It was my birthday. Hey, By the way, I found it. it. Getting old, son. <sighs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jay. It's T A Y T A Y. Like, he thinks he's like the, 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 the big stuff on this. This is the web. Gonna murder your TV. Like it's so ridiculously bad. It was chocolate rain. Wrote a song about that history. Chocolate rain. Now I'm paid a hefty, hefty fee. Chocolate rain. See, he makes fun of the fact that they paid him off to write a new song. All right, all right. We're, no, we're done. Yeah, and now we're done. Now we're done. Who was that? Was it Genuine? I don't know. Okay. It was somebody. It's kind of weird that I might have known who that was. <laughs> <laughs> it was high school, man. All right, we were all doing stupid stuff. We were all trying to find ourselves. <laughs> Dude, so we had, we had an awesome party here. Yes, we did. We played a lot of board games. Yeah, we did. What did we play? Uh, we played Munchkin. We played Munchkin, of course. <laughs> and I made you win. It was great. I won. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Philip was leading the game, and I then <laughs> I didn't even have to do like my complete 
I was only like at like half a fill. I wasn't even like full fill. On, All right, you're gonna the, have to explain that uh, for some the, people. That's the uh, douchebaggery meter. It's measured in fills, and I am constantly one fill. And then there's levels of yeah. Like on any given day, Chris is like point one of a fill. Yay! <laughs> I'm a nice guy. <laughs> so, uh, and then our friend Todd is like seven fills. <laughs> <laughs> so he was in the lead. I was up, I, it was my turn. I was probably like second. I mean, but mm. when I say second, I mean like everybody else was in the, like kind of a cluster together and we then Philip is way over there about to win. We had a one, a one, two twos, a three and a four. No, and there I, were like, there was like two of us that were fours, I okay, think. two fours. And then <laughs> everybody else, I was at eight. Philip's at eight. <laughs> so they decided to gang up on me when it's my turn. And I'm like, fine, you're going to be a jerk to me. I was like, fine, I because I need some help on this. Philip, help me, help me win this, because I knew it was gonna get. He Philip was an elf, which means he gets a level for helping, every, for helping every monster we defeat. Yes, and I forgot that I was fighting two monsters. Yeah. But anyways, ding, I'm ding. like, fine, I'll have Philip help me because then I'll get all the because I don't have to offer him any treasures. He'll take just the levels. And then I forgot there were two monsters, and he's like, oh, I'm level ten now. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> and then everyone's like, really? And they look at me like, really? I'm like, this is your fault. You did this. You did this. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> then, uh, oh, there's an article. Taught you guys King of Tokyo. I have That's been, the other game. Okay. I've been taking that game everywhere. Really? Like, yeah. Because it's so simple to learn. Yep. Um, although I found when people are drunk, it's hard to teach them the game. Of course, that goes bit. for any game. That goes for everything. I, <laughs> like, like we learned King of Tokyo, and that was simple. And then we were like, Bowser Galactic. No, 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 people are hammered. We're not doing this. <laughs> I took that. I took that to to North Carolina, and I taught my dad. And like every time we were thinking about playing a board game, my dad looked at me and be like, King of, King of Tokyo, and he just had this grin on his face. Or Suro, because uh, yeah, that is simple as all hell. Yeah. I took that with me. We played some of that too down there. Yeah. Uh, of course, I think my dad likes certain games only because the first time I ever teach him how to play a game, typically he wins at it for some reason, except for I taught him the game Quarriers I have, and I ended up winning mm. that. I like the very, I like pulled that win out of my butt though. Like Chloe was going to win, and then I just had enough stuff to, to kill one of her monsters, which allowed me to win. <laughs> or like Starflux. Yeah. We need to play that. Starflux, anybody wins. That's just yes. completely up in the air. Like I've won that game in like five minutes, though. <laughs> Boom. This card says I win. Yeah. So I win. How about that? Speaking of board games. Board games. That's like when I talk about I've been doing other things. I mean, I've been kind of obsessing about like board games because like over the past month, I have acquired a ton of board games. Yes, you have. <laughs> Every time you see me, I've got a new one. He's got a new one. All In right. fact, I just came back from North Carolina with one, Chris's, two. Chris's flicker. Chris's flicker is not food porn. It's <laughs> board game porn. That's what it is. Okay? Yes, if you look, <laughs> if you look at my fic, flicker, flicker, flicker. Well, if you look at my flicker, which is, uh, I think it's Chris the professor. Uh, it's like nothing but board game pictures. Like, hey, look what board game I got this time. <laughs> but I got three. I went down to North hey. Carolina, came back with three board games. Wow. Yeah, and I have two on the way, <laughs> and then I have credit at the local gaming store to get another yeah. game. Uh, can you tell what I wanted for my birthday? People gave me money. I spent it on games. Spent it on games, yeah. <laughs> so I wanted I, a car. Yeah. I went down, and uh, my parents bought me Creationary because they have been wanting me to get it for a while, oh. but uh, I hadn't. they hadn't been able to find it, and they finally found it at Barnes & Noble. Creationary. It is Pictionary, but with Legos. Okay. It's an official Lego board game. Gotcha. And it's, yeah, you just get these little cards. It's like, they have like, I forgot. We played it at the Lego Kids Fest thing we went to, and it was really fun. It's basically like you get a, an, a, a word, and you have to build it out of Legos. Oh. Yeah. Until the other person guessed it or whatever. Um, and then they... <laughs> Don't play with me. What? <laughs> I'm going to be family guy the whole time. Jackal, jackal, it's jackal. Jackal, jackal, it's a jackal, jackal, jackal. Is it a jackal? Wasn't right the first five times, why right the next ten? <laughs> Somebody kept doing that while we were playing catchphrase. That was you? That was me. Okay. That was me. Of course it was you. Of course it was me. I was at one fill. <laughs> Just one? Just one. I think it might have been at like 1.2. 1. 1.7. 1. 
So at least. And then my parents, when they picked up Creationary, they saw that there's the DC deck building game and the Marvel deck building game, and they knew they wanted to get me one, but they didn't know which one I wanted or which one I already had. Mm-hmm. So they gave me money, and I went and bought the DC one. And, but I'm probably going to get the Marvel get one the Marvel tomorrow one. with the credit I have at the board game store. <laughs> oh, see, and see. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Google. Google looking up the uh, Star Trek Managers game. Oh, yeah. Did you ever watch that video I showed you? <laughs> what? I showed you a video, and you don't even watch it. You need to watch You need to watch the YouTube video, because what it was is um, not this weekend, but the previous weekend up in Columbus, Ohio, there was the Origins Game Fair, and all these game companies were premiering all the games that are going to be coming out like this late this summer, late this fall. One of the games that was there was Star Trek Attack Wing, which is done by this company called WizKids, but they licensed the game system from the X-Wing Miniatures game that I've been having a blast on. Mm-hmm. And one of the <clears throat> one of the board gaming podcasts I do, they or watch, not a, I don't do any board gaming podcasts, but one of the ones I watch, they did a bunch of videos with uh, on their YouTube channels, the Dice Tower. And uh they had they sat down and had a whole big discussion with the the guy about the Star Trek Attack Wing. It starts off the the starter box comes with three factions. You get the one of the the whatever the regular Klingon bird of prey, okay. um, <clears throat> uh, or you get the Galaxy class, and you get the Deradex Romulan mm. cruiser. So you get everybody all at once. Yeah, and then they're gonna have other ships and other booster packs. And then come this fall, this was the cool part I thought of. This fall, they're going to be doing a campaign session with local gaming stores. Local gaming stores can sign up to play. They get a a, a kit that has a bunch of promotional stuff and prizes to give away. And they're going to be running this long campaign-long scenario called the Dominion War, based around the Dominion War in the show. Uh-huh. And it's going to introduce a fourth faction, the Dominion. Mm-hmm. And then whoever wins at a store, the the campaign at the end of the campaign gets like all super awesome prizes, and you get prizes for just showing up. Sounds really cool. Sweet. Like I really need another miniatures game to get into, though, right? Yeah. I don't know. It all depends on like a lot of it'll have to depend on the quality of the miniatures because that's what I like about the X Wing is Fantasy Flight has done a really good job at the quality of the X Wing miniatures. So. Uh, okay. I'll have to These put the... are pretty. This is actually looking pretty. I'm looking at the website. This is actually kind of cool. Oh, okay. It's got a Galaxy class. It's got a Dideradex, and it's got a um. It's got a Klingon heavy cruiser. Okay, that's what it was. That's what that is. I. I don't know my Klingon ships. It's okay. <laughs> your hair looks nice. Yeah, your hair looks nice. It's fine. <laughs> So I'll put the uh, Dice Tower YouTube video link in the show notes so you guys can check that out. Um, But yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Uh, And I lost my train of thought. (laughs) Utilizing the flight path maneuver system, and it's been trademarked. Right, because that's the game system from Fantasy Flight that allows them to do like the little bases with the little paths... Did you ever see me play the game yeah. at all? Well, yeah. we didn't play. We set it up. Well, yeah, we set it up. But, like, yeah, with the little... Where basically, it does the same thing where it's the bases with the little peg and the ship on it. And then there's the little... You you turn a dial and... Except for... Because WizKids owns Heroclix, they're calling it the Heroclix dials. Okay. C- c- when I first typed in Star Trek Miniatures, it sent me to um, Star, sh- uh, Star Trek Tactics, which is the Heroclix version. Oh. Instead of the... The flight path. Star Trek Attack Wing is Attack the name wing. of yep. the miniature thing. You're going to be totally in, want to be into this, aren't you? Uh, I don't know, man. It's got a lot of little parts I can lose. <laughs> and this costs money, man. Yeah, it costs money. T- digital game table. All right. Yeah, but there's something to be said for having the actual miniature. Like when you see like a bunch of the miniatures are hanging around, like the, I could see for like all the cardboard pieces, that would be nice. To where make it like the table on uh make it like the table in the Falcon. 
for the holograms? Yeah. Or just like if we come back down to reality a little bit, if you just had it where you had the base and then <laughs> you just typed in what your what your path was going to be and it just drew the arrow and then drew the box for where your thing's going to be. That would be, yeah. And then you don't have to have the cardboard pieces. See, yeah, that would be good. Yeah, then have a little ring. Then we kind of get into Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You've activated my trap card! <laughs> <laughs> I play this card face down. <laughs> your magic card activated my trap card. Will your trap card activated my trap card? Will your your other trap card activated my other trap card? Now we're out of cards. Now I use the Eye of Ra. And suck your soul into a card. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be careful. You'll, You'll be, be dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. How do we get on this? Oh, I was talking about board games. Board games. Board games. Speaking of board games coming out, uh, games. Steve Jackson Games, the makers of Munchkin, they announced that they're coming out with a new game called Munchkin Legends. I was reading that one. And, and it's basically like historical figures and a munchkin game kind of thing. Sweet. But it's going to be an exclusive to Target. Saw that one, yeah? Yeah. So it'll be like oh. Abraham Lincoln fighting, <laughs> you know, King Henry VIII. That would be awesome, <laughs> actually. This needs to happen. Steve Jackson Games, you better be listening. This needs like, to happen. We need legit historical figures. <laughs> and they can just duke it out. Right. We'll have, like, like Leonidas. Leonidas fighting... Hitler. Mm, it's kind of a one-sided fight. <laughs> I think the game would be better if they just avoided Hitler. Yeah, we'll just avoid it. It'll be the... Yeah. Yeah. With who? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Speaking of Munchkin, by the way, I Munchkin. saw... Ah! There's a girl! <laughs> there's a girl in the and there's game. a. What is this green thing? There's... Uh, my mm. wife's holding a green thing. It looks like... Did we grow that? It's like kale. What is it? It's, it's a it's, radish. It's a radish. We grew that? <laughs> this is what happens when gamers go outside. Like, stuff just appears in the yard. Oh. Did she just bite it? <laughs> no. I don't know. I can't see behind the door. Hi, Ashray. Hi there. How's it going? <laughs> and she leaves. And she's gone. Oh, you sc oh I scared her off. <laughs> My aura's back. Yes! <laughs> For the longest time, it just like my aura stopped. Which aura would that be? The 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 female repulsion aura. <laughs> I was like an anti paladin. I just kept you know, pushing them away. <laughs> oh, something else I was gonna say. Uh, I was at Barnes and Noble, looking at Munchkin stuff because I was just wanting to see if they had one of the Munchkins I don't have. They mm -hmm. didn't. No. But I noticed they had. You have them all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm missing like two or three. Ah. Uh. So I saw that there's this new thing called Munchkin Game Changers, and I was like, "What is this?" All right. I I, op I look at it, flip it around. It's a bunch of the mo bunch, a bunch of the Munchkin booster packs that have went out of print, including Munchkin Fairy Dust, ah. Munchkin Munchkinomicon, yes, and then the Munchkin Monster Enhancer. So I was like, "Oh, I have all these. Okay, <laughs> don't need that. That whatever." So there you go. If you ever buy your own Munchkin set, you can now have the Munchkin Omicon again. Sweet. That is the best set in the game. Ever. And by best set, he means like 15 cards. 15. It's so amazing, though. <laughs> it's automatic plus five. Fills? That's right. Plus five fills. Bam. Right there. <laughs> What's that? Oh, you stole the Munchkin Omicon from me? I sacrificed the level. Bam. Mine now. <laughs> what? Cricket, 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 cricket. I'm, I'm reading the thing. It's like Steve Jackson, uh, no, illustrator John Kovalik. That's the guy who draws all the Munchkin yeah. cards. <laughs> now, pardon me while I ice my arm. <laughs> Apparently, he's been drawing a lot. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mention all the other new cool games that stuff, I got. Man. So I got Creationary. Creationary. I got the DC deck building game. Uh, I bought also this game called Pandemic because when we were at the comic book store. They have board games there as well. And Ashley saw this game called Pandemic. 
and it looked really cool. And then we came home because we didn't buy it. A because I wasn't. I figured if I'm gonna spend money on board games, then we go to the board game store. Um, so we came home also and watched the tabletop episode on Pandemic because I knew there had been one about because I wanted to see what the game was about because I don't like buying games just blind. Yeah. Um, and it's all about you're a team of like doctors and scientists trying to prevent. Like, you remember the movie Outbreak? Yeah. You're draw- basically trying to keep that from happening. Good movie, by the way. All right. So, like, basically, these diseases have started. There's, like, four diseases that have started to spread. And, like, during your turn, it continues to spread. And if it hits a city where the disease is already at and you get enough of these little disease cubes, it basically blows up into an outbreak and affects all the cities around it, mm-hmm. which, if those cities have got enough disease cubes, they blow up as well. So you're trying to, like work on curing these cities before it like blows up the entire planet. And it's a cooperative game, which has like a million ways you can lose. (laughs) (laughs) And there's only one way to win. So Ashley was intrigued by that. So anytime Ashley's intrigued in a game, we got that. Well, I'm willing to get that. Yes. Uh, And then there's this card game I've been wanting to play forever, but it kept going out of stock. So I just, this one I did buy blind and that was because it's called Android Netrunner. Okay. Um, and this is because it's got... only reason I bought it blind is because it's got so highly reviewed. It's ridiculous. Uh, but it's a cyberpunk game. Okay. And it's called a living card game. Mm. Whereas it's like Magic in that you've got cards, you can build your own deck, but it's called a living card game because everyone has the same cards. Like each booster or each core set, there's only one core box and everyone, it's always the same cards. Okay. And then they have these data packs that they release a new one every month and each data pack is the same. So when you're playing against somebody, you have just as equal a chance of having the same cards they do. Um, it's just a, how do you use those cards? How do you use The only difference would be, oh, I haven't been to the store yet to get my new booster pack. Right, and each booster and pack have. is randomized. So we could both buy a booster pack and you got a super awesome card and I didn't get crap. I thought you just said all the booster packs are the same. Well, I know. I'm saying as com- as compared to Co- uh, like Magic. Compared to like Magic yeah. or... God, you remember Pokemon? It's still around. It is still around. Oh, my God. It just... They won't die. Yeah. Uh, How long has that been going on? Since the 90s. Since the 90s. That's ridiculous. Yep. Because they're still running the TV show. That kid hadn't grown up yet. <laughs> I'm flipping through channels, and all of a sudden, I see a little Pokeball fly across the screen. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> Dude, he's still 14. What the hell? He's Peter Pan. He is Peter Pan. That's what it is. The Pokemon world is never, never land. <laughs> we have solved the problem. Boom. Where's the fairy dust? The Pokeball. I'm sure there's one of them. Pokemons that has fairy dust powers or something. Something like it. Yeah. Well, um, Jigglypuff puts everyone to sleep. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh. I remember playing those games, man. We had, what we, we had red, blue, yellow, uh, red, blue, yellow, gold, and silver. Yep. And crystal. Those were the ones. That's ooh, one of us owned crystal. It was either me or my sister. One of us owned crystal. I remember that. Had all the movies. Those are fun times, man. The nineties. And then you grew up. And then, and now we're all old with jobs. Except for since I have Chloe, I have reasons to get Pokemon games. Like I have Pokemon Black and I've played it. Oh. Huh. But that's because I got her Pokemon White, even though she doesn't play. Hmm. Okay, I'll just uh, play without you over here. I need to level <laughs> up my guys in case you ever do want to play. That's right. So I can't can't be schooled by my daughter. I know, right? Can't have that going on. <laughs> Oh, here's a game I have. I bought Lego Lord of the Rings on Steam. Nice. Haven't installed it. <laughs> I already have. I already have so many other games that I just don't play. It's like I need to go in and actually play some of those. Like just like I haven't played Lego Batman two because I want to finish Lego Batman one. Sorry, I I haven't finished Lego Batman one. I bought that. I was like, ah, eh, whatever. My stepdad and I, we've been uh, we've been Kindle booking it up. I, I saw or I heard you guys so talking about that. Many books. It's getting to be an expensive habit. Yeah. And then it's because like you got to go and look at like I'm trying to read a book and it's like oh no I loaned that one to him. All right let me read this one. 
Oh no, he actually loaned that one to me, and it expired. Man, this, damn it! <laughs> I'm reading also Game of Thrones. Ah. Uh, I've not seen the show. I've not read any of the books. So I decided it was finally time for me to experience this. Jump on the bandwagon. Yeah. So we bought the Kindle book, and then we were in the store. Me and Ashley were just going to, like, I was going to read on my iPad. She was going to read on her iPad, and we were just not going to sync the Kindle. Okay. So that, because it's the same Kindle account. Gotcha. So when it says, you are currently at this, do you want to jump to that? And you go, no. no. Then she, we were in the store, and she saw the physical book, and she's like, I kind of like to have the actual book. She likes to read the actual book. And then if she's away from her, you know, she can get pull up her phone, flip to wherever she is. and Yeah. So now I'm reading it on the Kindle and she's reading it there, which means if we continue and we decide to read the other books, I'm going to have to buy two copies of every book from now on. I've actually, like, like with the comics, um, I probably should start doing them on Comixology just so I have the digital copies of everything. But I just I don't like physical copies of stuff anymore. It's like, and I'm not one of those big old, you know, hippies. No, oh, save the environment. Yes, we should save the environment. I'd like to be around in a couple years. But, I mean, come on, man. See this? See this right here? This is my phone. It's got 56 books on it. Okay? That's like, here, I'm breaking stuff now. I'm very, I'm being Italian right now. Okay, I got to talk with my hands. Oh, yeah. Bro. All right? That whole shelf right there. I can't carry that whole shelf right there with me. What, sh- what shelf would that be? Would that be uh, this shelf over here? Uh, uh, yeah, that one right there with the with the double final, like whatever that is. I don't know. It says final on it twice. Final crisis. Final crisis, yeah. Or, or even the one next to it. I can't carry all that stuff with me in my back pocket. Great. Now I got to fix my camera. It's okay. I should have just switched to the other one. It happens. Oh, I think <laughs> I just made it worse. Blink, 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 blink. There we go. <laughs> helicopter cam so are you gonna ever get an actual kindle you're just gonna keep your i'm just gonna keep the kindle app it's like why get an actual kindle well Uh bigger Eh. more readings of course your the the droid's pretty big droid's got a nice screen i use my um i use the kindle for pc application on my tablet so yeah because you're you got that swanky flip it's got like an 11 inch screen i think yeah which is like the size of a regular tablet yeah the 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 what was it the uh, the the iPad Mini Max. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got the iPad Mini Micro, which is the size of an iPhone. <laughs> I love that commercial. That was one of the. That better, was a Conan thing. Wasn't that it? was one of the better Conan things. Yeah, it was like, the iPad Mini Maxi, which is the exact same size as an iPad. <laughs> Speaking of phones, you ever gonna? Oh. I noticed you got like those two dots on there. You ever gonna upgrade your phone? I don't know. They haven't actually have. Have they come out with the Droid Five yet? I don't know. That's, okay, that's them fangled Android phones. Yeah. If they um, I'm surprised you haven't looked at the the Samsung, like the Galaxy S4. I want a physical keyboard. Oh. I want a legit slide it out physical keyboard. I forgot you like those physical keyboard things. Because I get fat fingers. And I'm just sitting there and typing like... <laughs> Backspace. Damn it. Come on. Let's try this. Captain Crunch. That's why you do one something. of those keyboard s- swiper things that uh, it knows... Like that, that Swift key app I was telling you about where it integrates into your keyboard and then it learns your typing patterns. Yeah. And so it guesses how you're wanting to type. But then it'll guess like all just all those those massive autocorrect fails, where I'm just like dropping f bombs left and right. I'm well, like, no, no it, I said frosted flakes. Why? Did no, no, you say- no. See, that's the deal. Is it doesn't auto do stuff. It's just as you're typing, it's suggesting stuff, so you don't have to finish typing. You well, just it does that. Oh, I don't use it, but it, I I use it when I'm trying to spell check myself. Nice. And it's like how do I spell? Is it W E I R W I E R? All right, there we go. That boom done. All right, there we go. I have the most time on the word weird. Weird. Yeah, I know. I just, I just, the brain dies. And it's like, yeah, that was, I don't get. But yeah, if they come out with the Droid 5 and it's got a full on keyboard, yeah, boom. Make it mine. Nice. Upgrade. And then I can have the protection plan. Pay my, the $7 a month. I got rid of that junk. 
I got uh, I got Apple Care. Apple Care. That's right. I was looking. Uh, turned on the internet. <clears throat> Pops up. It's a uh, guy does an iPhone repair thing uh, uh-huh. out of his dorm. It was a uh, I cracked. Yeah. And it's or I fix it. No, it was I cracked. Oh, okay. That's There's the a website called I fix, I fix it. it or Fix It or something like that. I cracked. He um, they use their website. They train people. They're like they could train you. You could become an iPod iPhone repair person, and you fix the stupid stuff. Mm-hmm. It's like instead of charging. What is what did what did Apple charge you for Chloe's new iPod? They basically charged you a hundred bucks. Oh, they gave you a new so iPod. interesting point about this. This brings up a story we can what we <laughs> I can play into. Yeah. So we're going down to North Carolina. Chloe said uh, Chloe's got her phone her phone because. She has a phone because I needed an upgrade and I added a line. And now Chloe goes to a lot of grandparents a lot. So it's a way for me to keep up with her. And she has an iPhone now because when I upgraded my phone, I just gave it to her because she had an iPod and she was carrying it everywhere, but she was never carrying her phone because it was this Samsung flip phone. So I was like, here, now you get an iPhone. You can. And she carries it. She takes pretty good care of it. It's in an otter box. So I don't have to worry about it smashing, Dying, breaking. Yeah. yeah. So, it, you know, it's as childproof as a phone can be. <laughs> I'm not saying completely. Yeah. Uh, but she she's she's on speakerphone and we're like, Chloe, get it off speakerphone. It just when you're driving, it's really distracting having your phone on speakerphone. And she's like, I can't because I can't hear it if it's not on speakerphone. And I, I called her phone and listened to it and had her talk on mine. And yeah, it was like with the volume turned up all the way. The speaker up at the the top of the phone, just yeah. nothing. It's oh, like wow. you barely hear it at all. So it's like crap. So I tried like doing like full restarts and like closing stuff out, looking through settings, see if something was missing. Yeah. Couldn't find anything. Go to the Apple Store because fortunately in North Carolina there was one that's just like right down, not that far away from my parents. I'm like here, we got to go like an hour away to find an Apple Store. Um, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well. So, I go there. The Apple Care's out on that phone. Mm. It's like almost a year out. Well, just meaning yeah. that since it's if it was under Apple Care and it was a hardware problem, the Apple Care would fix it. Right. But they're like, oh, it's going to be probably going to get you a new phone. It's going to be like $150. So there you go. That's how much they were going to charge me to fix her phone mm-hmm. out of warranty. Out of warranty fix. Yeah. These guys here, um, it's kind of like they, they train you how to fix these phones from like battery replacement. They'd probably do like a speaker repair or something like that. Yeah. And they charge anywhere between like uh, like 70 and $100. For the training? Or not for the training, but for, for like the repair. Oh. For, for something you would have to like give it to Apple and then... I remember we went up there and we got the iPod. They just gave you a brand new iPod. Yeah. We all know what happened. They took the old iPod. Or they, a refurbished one. Yeah, uh, A new to you. Right. <laughs> you got a new to you iPod. That's what yeah. it was. And they took the other one in the back. They popped the screen out, put a new one on. Bam, they're going to sell it to someone else. That's And that's all these guys do. And they charge you like, you know, 30% less than the, uh, the, the Apple store. I know store. other people do it too. Like there are other, you know people that fix phones too it's just whether you want to you know run the risk of somebody screwing up your phone even worse or you know if apple screws up your phone you're gonna get something out of it yeah you are gonna yeah that's a, that's that's one of the reasons i'm still taking my vehicle to ford i could do my own oil changes i could do my own tire rotations that thing's still under warranty i'm gonna let them break it <laughs> yeah because you know you know the day it's like, oh, a five-year warranty. <laughs> five years in one day. Boom, something's going to break. The car follows yeah, apart. Just, <laughs> you see all the duct tape and silly putty just like all over. They're like, what the heck, man? <laughs> so continuing on the... So to continue on the iPhone story. iPhones. So we're like, $150 for a new phone? And it's an iPhone 4. I was like, for that price, we could buy a new phone. <laughs> mm-hmm. In fact, we had him check the eligibility for the upgrade we were eligible for that line's been around long enough. It's eligible for an upgrade, <laughs> which like to get the brand new iPhone five would be like two hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. It's only fifty bucks more than what they were going to cost me to fix the four. 
The 4S is only like a hundred dollars. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm looking, I'm sitting there looking. I'm like, this kid is like the luckiest kid in the world because she didn't do anything to it. She just it broke, and now she may make out with a brand new phone because we're like, well, we still don't want to pay like a hundred and fifty, you know, two hundred bucks to get her a new iPhone five. Except I found out Best Buy is doing a deal where if you trade in a working iPhone four or four S, it is working. They'll give you like a hundred fifty dollar credit towards a new phone. Oh, sweet! And they're they'll also give you a fifty dollar. They'll drop the price of the phone for fifty dollars, which makes the phone free. You just have to pay the up the upgrade fee from upgrade the for, for, for yeah, Verizon. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So I'm like, <sighs> taking a trip to Best Buy. And then I feel like I'm one of those parents that's just like you're one of those enablers. Yes, that's what you are. Yeah. Oh yeah. Did and then I get that, like, when I was your age. Uh huh. Uh-huh. It's like, when I was your age, I used to have to get forced to go play outside. And we had, yeah. We, we made mud pies. They were amazing. Uh, so who knows? How, we still haven't completely figured out what we're going to do in that regard. Make her do yard work to earn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well. Kids and their shenanigans. <laughs> uh, I think that's a good place to call it, don't you? Yeah, it sounds like a good place to me. So, thank you guys for watching this new and improved. I don't know if I'd call it improved. Newly approved. Newly approved. That's right. Relative dimensions. We're keeping the name of the show. The show is still the same. People. It's the, the same, same name. name. Same name, same faces. Should get it about the same time. The only difference is is that we'll be talking different stuff. You got something you want to talk about? Email us. Chris at OCDcast.com. In the future, I'm going to have some news stories, some cool stuff going on. Like We're going to still cover some news, but I may have like funny, geeky stories. Like There was a story I was going to talk about today, but I didn't feel like where Google's using balloons to do yeah, internet. I, I was like, that was kind of cool. Yeah. So we'll talk about all sorts of stuff. Uh, if you got any feedback on what you think we should talk about, or be like, this sucks, you need to go back to the way it was, uh, email us. You can also find us on Twitter. I'm at Chris the Prof. He's Philip underscore RD. The website and a bunch of other information is OCDcast.com. So go there, check out this podcast, blog post, whatever. A bunch of other cool stuff. So... Thank you again for watching this show. This awesome music that you're hearing in your ear holes right now is the song L3 by Skyhawk from his album Function. Thank it, Thanks to him for letting us use it. And go get it. So, we will see you next week for more Geek Talking. This has been Relative Dimensions. I'm Chris. <laughs> I'm Philip. And thanks you guys for watching. We'll see you next week. I should probably breathe more when I'm doing those outros. Can you breathe away from the mic?